Here's a slab that we just finished cutting off the large saw. The next thing we want to do is take advantage of one of the many templates that we have to, to trace an attractive uh, shape. This particular template happens to have circles and, and ovals, and I'm sort of an oval guy, so, so that's what I do is uh, I find a way, I orient the, the oval on the slab in a way that makes it a, some, something pleasing about it. This one happens to have a stripe through it, so I can have a sort of like a diagonal stripe in the finished stone when I'm done. Trace the outline. Then I use this saw, a, a diamond bladed saw as well, to actually trim uh, the, the shape out of the slab. I trim as much as I can. I trim as much as I can off the slab, so I don't have to grind it off. And and here's a piece that I've I've trimmed as carefully as I can to cut away as much stone, so I don't have to grind it away. This particular saw is open. Uh, it does have an oil splash guard on the top to prevent uh, all of the oil that spins off the blade to, to spinning on the front of your shirt and, or blouse or skirt or whatever you got. And it, it's a diamond saw blade, but it doesn't cut soft material like fingers, unlike wood saws, which, which do cut fingers. However, if you were to put your finger in there, you, you'd get hurt. And all you have to do is be careful to not get your fingers on the very edge of the saw blade. So what I've, after I've traced the outline on the stone, I then have a finished uh, a stone that has a shape traced on it, and it's been trimmed close to the shape that I did trace.